There's an event at Thanksgiving Point every year called Eat Like a Pilgrim. It's a reenactment experience with activities and authentic foods like the first Thanksgiving. It's really popular. We've heard it's very fun and a great way to switch up your holiday meal, especially if kids are involved. On the other hand, why not do it yourself? Sue Neal took on the task of figuring what it would take to eat like a pilgrim at home. The pilgrims were not eating like this. Yes, they were. <laughs> Are we sure? You know what? I made sure to use everything that they would have had access oh. to back at that time. Yeah. Okay. With a, a few little slight variations. A few gourmet for our palate. Food for twists. our palate. Yeah. But they missed. So I think this is just a fun little piece of history. But the pilgrims missed apples so much because uh, there were no apple trees okay. in New England. Okay. Um, and when they saw the acorn squash growing on the ground, they actually called them ground apples. Oh, cute. Yeah. And pumpkin and acorn squash puree reminded them of apple butter. So they were very very fond of Oh my gosh, that squash. makes my heart to sigh. I know. That's sweet. Yeah. That's so sweet. So we're doing a cornbread stuffed acorn squash. Let me tell you, this is so good. This would be a great fall and winter, just a meal, just one of these. It but looks if amazing. you want to bring some of that original meal to your dinner table for Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. um, just have this on display and you can actually cut it into quarters and halves oh. so people can get a little bit of taste. This serving is gorgeous too. Let's go, let's yeah. go. How I do mean, we it's do even it? got its own plate, right? I know. So I've already pre cooked my, <laughs> this is where, so I am sure they had sausage. I really <laughs> have no doubt. Protein was very, very big for them. Okay. And the British made a lot of sausage. This, however, is sweet. No. Sorry, spicy Italian, hot Italian they sausage. They didn't have that. They didn't have that. <laughs> but I love that little zing. Okay. okay, so you can use any sausage you want, right? Okay. I've pre-cooked that. In the drippings, I've added onions and celery. And I've cooked this for about five to 10 minutes, just until it's soft. I've also added about half of my butter. Onions but smell this amazing. is the money right Let's here. Go. Okay, you're gonna do it. So, cranberries. In. Actually, craisins that I've actually, um, pecans, that I've macerated in a little bit of vinegar. Because you want them plump. You don't oh, want them too dry, so right? The yeah. There too. They didn't have pecans, but they had walnuts. They had lots of nuts. Okay. Um, so they probably would have put that in the stuffing. Then the herbs. This is what makes it, mm, right? So parsley. That doesn't have so much no. of a smell, but a taste. But these three Here smell. It Here it comes. Okay. Um, and I add these, you know, just a couple of minutes before I'm ready, you know, before this is done. You want to wilt and kind of soften and get the oils of the herbs out, but mm -hmm. you don't want to overcook it or you'll lose lot, a lot of that beautiful green basil, thyme. color. No, no basil. We've oh. got um, sage okay. and rosemary sage. and thyme. Got yeah, it. About a tablespoon each of those and about a half a cup of the parsley. Look how pretty. I know, already gorgeous, right? Now yes. we're just going to, oh, we got to put the rest of the butter the in. The butter. The butter don't mind if is I what do. makes this so amazing. <laughs> okay. And if you'll stir that a bit for yes, me, we'll talk about our acorn squash. Okay, these babies, let me tell you, this is a winter squash. Mm -hmm. It is hard. This is what my husband uses oh. in the kitchen <laughs> Go to cut. Go if you Steve. don't have a machete, <laughs> just find a good cleaver and have at it. And I tend to clean up my edges a little That's bit. That's great. Um, just so I have a nice flat surface. Okay. Then you're just going to take a little bit of olive oil and salt, generously, mm -hmm. pepper. Mm -hmm. And then lay it, I like to line my pan with um, tin foil. Okay. Just makes cleanup easy. Upside down, cook in a 400 degree oven for 30 minutes. Okay. That's gonna par cook it, okay? Mm -hmm. So now we've got our stuffing started, we've got our acorn squash. By the way, I only did this first. Usually I would get the acorn in first, then get do this. Going. And then we'll move over here. Okay, okay, what's here? So this is while this is cooking. This is our cornbread. Mm. So they didn't have any wheat. They actually brought wheat over, but it spoiled on the oh. Mayflower. But um, the Wapanogs. Did I say that right? I, I, have, sounded, been, I have been practicing. It sounded good to The me. Native American in that area were actually cultivating corn, and they shared that nice. with the pilgrims. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So cornbread would have been it. Now I doubt they got themselves a box of cornbread, <laughs> but I sure did. <laughs> I don't recommend getting the box of cornbread stuffing, though. I tried that, and it just kind of disintegrated. Just regular I cornbread. like the big chunks. So bake it yourself. Cut it into about three quarter inch cubes and let that dry. If you don't have two days to let it dry, just put it in the oven on a low temp until it's really like this is hard. Okay. 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 So one egg mm -hmm. mixed. If you'll just put that in there and toss mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. and then we're going to take all this lovely. Oh my goodness! I just realized this is going to be hot, and that there's no. Pass me that yellow. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Perfect. Okay, and then you can start. Oh. Tossing this all in. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. And there's a poem that you have that goes with this little dish. Yes, I found all sorts of fun little um, snippets from the original 
um, pilgrims. Some of it is, I call it pilgrimese. Mm -hmm. So just that old English, which is kind of fun, I think. So we have this one's cute. pottage and puddings and custards and pies. Our pumpkins and parsnips are common supplies. We have pumpkins at morning and pumpkins at noon. If it no was not for pumpkins, we should be undone. Undoon. I told you they like their they like their they <laughs> like their squash. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, they Cute. probably said undo. Oh, probably. Okay, so while that's oh, let's not forget the sausage. And then we stuff these in. Yeah. So this is some that I have pre-made. Mm -hmm. And I just and then this is the acorn squash come out of the oven. You can see it's kind of caramelized. Throw it in there. And just here's a tip: <gasps> don't like over mix this. Okay. You want it to kind of maintain its. Sue, it looks amazing. And then you just <gasps> and I like to overstuff. Just this put baby, it in there. Man. Sue is creative yeah. not only in the kitchen but in the craft room as well. And you have some awesome card kits that are seasonally appropriate. Yeah, I've got some Christmas card kits, and I'm not having a class in December, but they're on sale with. Uh, free shipping. Lovely. Where do we find those? Uh, Sunil.blogspot.com. Look for that link on our website as long with, along with today's recipe, a little history to go with your food. That always makes for good conversation at the table as well. Sue, thank you so much.